Josh raises a good point, which leads to the next question, which is, what does Peltz want now? He wanted cost cutting. He got it. He got it. Yeah. Right. right. Now maybe he wants something to happen with the people who are doing the cost cutting. And a, su right? a successor. And uh, that he's CEO. not happy at all with the current makeup of the board, obviously, mm -hmm. and the current person who leads the board. But that's and that fine. is Bob Iger. Right, but that's fine. And you know what? Bob, Bob Iger screwed up the succession planning before. And that's why he's back. And now he's saying, like, get this right. Like, enough is enough. Get it right. And if you look at their earnings, by the way, the earnings ex expected growth from here, like, I know they're way off of what they were, but it's pretty decent. Earnings are expected to grow 21% in 25, 21% in 26. It's trading at a really discounted valuation. Basically, you could say like it's trading just on the parks, and at that, it's trading about 15 times. It's not, it's not in a terrible place. And I'm all for Nelson Peltz trying to shake it up. I hope he does it in the right way. Um, but anything, anything to say enough is enough is, is good news by my standards. Jimmy, you're a shareholder as well. Yeah, you know, investor, really good investors will often say, what's the one thing that you want from good management? You want them to be excellent stewards of capital. Now, I think Nelson Peltz is a great advisor on exactly that topic, how to allocate capital. And there are big capital decisions to be made. What point. to do about Hulu. What, we know what they're going to do, but how much they pay for it. What to do about ESPN. What to do about the dividend. I see nothing but positives from Mr. Peltz and his uh, nominees joining the board. I'm a little older now than I was, and I will tell you, I think the end game here is pretty obvious that he gets his seats on the board. And I just wish we didn't have to go through the movie. I wish this could be like a, you know, a trailer instead of a two-hour movie. I wish we could, like, next week just well, get I mean, to the this, resolution. This is, this is the sequel. Right? I mean, let's, I, you want to play that out. This is the sequel, I, right? We already watched the first movie. I, yeah, well. And we're going to see if the sequel is I hope, better than the original. I, I, I do have a chess hope, move. No, Does, just let him on. Just well, let him on well, the board. Well, hear, hear me out. Yeah. Does Iger have a chess move where he preemptively does something big with ESPN, sells a big stake in it to Amazon or Apple? Is that a chess move where all of a sudden the shareholders say, oh, look, we just got a 15% pop in our stock. ESPN asset now has a, a secured future with a tech giant involved. Let's leave things the way they are. That's is that possible? It's completely feasible. Of course it is. Now, I, That's I'm not what gonna, I would do. Yeah, but I'm not going to naysay it. I mean, that requires consent from Amazon. And how many times have Dude, we not... the numbers we're talking wait, wait, about wait, wait, are wait, tiny just, for, just, for I, that. I got it. But how many yeah, times yeah. have not you and I, but us on the show, discussed, well, if Apple just bought Name the Company, right? And they don't. And, doesn't, and they, they don't. don't do it. I so, agree. Like, but I agree with the thought bubble. My only point is that it's highly more likely that Mr. Peltz and his nominees gets the seats. Let's just get it done. Like, let's get it done in the next yeah. week. Let's not drag this into 2024. Um, how come, hold on real quick. I'm going to get Kevin involved. You don't own Disney. You ever own it? We owned it until they cut the dividend during the pandemic. And you had no choice but to to bail on it, it right, a, because of your strategy? It was a Thursday night. They cut the dividend because of the pandemic, new movie theaters, cruise lines, theme parks, all of that. They haven't reinstated it, but this is an opportunity and a catalyst where I think Pelt's getting on the board or an action like Josh talks about. Reinstating the dividend would put it right back in our queue and we'd be shareholders again. For what sure. were you going to say quickly? I was just going to say there's an, under, there's an underrated potential story here. Uh, this past summer, Disney acquired uh, Candle Media, which is two consultants that had worked with Bob Iger for a long time at Disney. It's uh, Tom Staggs, Kevin Mayer. Uh, they are now in the fold, supposed, allegedly taking a look at ESPN, trying to help them figure out strategy. That could be your successor story, which is another big issue at Disney. They don't have a strong Stags candidate. Stags or mayor, they were already under the roof one time and, and okay. failed like, because they weren't going to be the, the, the guys. But they're very, very, they respe they're very respected by both Wall Street, Hollywood. That also could be a preemptive chess move. It's like, look, you told me you didn't like my, my uh, you told me I have a problem with uh, succession. Here's my answer to that. Yeah, all of a, you know all of a sudden, that, 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 that could be something is all I'm saying. So let's